Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. Today we're going to be building a retro mining server with a slightly older motherboard. I can't really say slightly because it is quite old. But it does have four connectors for four graphics cards. Three PCIe 1 speed and one 16 speed. This is the Gigabyte P35DS3L. We do have two sticks of 2 gig DDR2, which should be sufficient because it's 4 gigs, and we're running a Core 2 Duo CPU. We currently have three RX 588 gig graphics cards that I would like to install onto this motherboard, but I'm not looking at getting any more RX 580s at the moment. I would like to start on our 3060 Ti or 3080 build. The reason we're doing this build is to see if our graphics cards runs the same as our new motherboards and if we can actually use all the equipment like the motherboard, CPU and memory. I would recommend power supply and graphics cards to be bought new, but this would be a good build for a 4 graphics card mining server. And I'm hoping this motherboard is sufficient enough, it does have on... okay. This motherboard doesn't have onboard graphics. We're looking at running this motherboard on Linux. SMO is specifically for mining. We can't really run Windows 10 with these specs. 4 gigs of memory and a core to duo. Windows 10 will probably run. But I'm not going to use that for this specific server. Linux is less resource intense. And should be perfectly fine for this motherboard. In this server, we do have a Gigabyte H110D3A. You can add six graphics cards on this motherboard. And this would be perfect for the 3060 Ti or the 3080. So I'm looking at getting six graphics cards for this specific motherboard. This motherboard does have an M2 slot, meaning we can run our Windows 10 operating system on this board on our new machine. So there's 4 gigs of memory, Intel Pentium CPU, and it does have an onboard graphics for display. So let's take this motherboard out, pop in our retro motherboard, and see what we're hashing at. Let's take a look at the current setup of our mining rig. We have 3 graphics cards, 1 power color, 2 Asus RX 588 gigs. And we have a total hash rate of 91.85 mega hash per second and the total power consumption of 424 watts. Let's take a look at the overclocks. On the power color we're running 1200 core, 2100 on the memory and on the ASUS cards is 1150 and 22 on the memory. The core under vault is at 850 and those are the settings that we've got. So we're going to use the same settings on the older motherboard that we're going to swap out and hopefully everything works out for the best. Let's get into our build. Let's get this motherboard installed and see what our hash rates are. Hopefully we don't lose any hash rate on this motherboard with these graphics cards. Just to recap, we're installing the Gigabyte P35 into this mining server to run our three RX 588 gig graphics cards. We are changing the power supply to a Sunflower 750 watt gold rated power supply. And... We will be using this motherboard and power supply for our new mining build.
so we finished putting the server together it's still a bit dusty for me to clean it out but i didn't want this video to be too long either I didn't do much cable management just made sure the cards are plugged in motherboard is installed so let's take a look and see if it switches on first of all first put switch on in front oh that's a good sign power excuse for the noise we've got our other server running over there okay we've got some power let's get into smos and see what we've got running linux off a usb flash drive and let's go into smos and see what we have if we pick up all our cards and if we're booting into sms be right back okay we can see that we've picked up the server but it doesn't seem like there's a config file on this so let's just rename it quickly this is an rx 580 rig let's save that let's take a look at what this pc does okay first off we can only see two graphics cards so we need to go see why we can only see two graphics cards so let's let's shut down and reconnect the one graphics card make sure we can see all three so we have two asus rx 580s and we don't know which one is not working what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, this usb cable okay we're going to test the first one by unplugging it let's unplug it from the motherboard leave the other two in and see if we still see two graphics cards if we still see two graphics cards then it might be the pc riser that we might just need to change so let's get back into simple mining os and see if we can see both um, these two RX 580 AD cards. Switch it back on. Let's get back into the SMOS monitoring side of things. See if we can see both cards. So let's take a look we can still see both cards so the one that we unplugged might be the pci express let's get that changed and see if we can get all three cards ashing away so this is the card that we unplugged and this is the card that it wasn't seen earlier so we're going to change the riser cable and see if we can see it in sms card has been installed still installed in that first slot and see we got all three and we still have space for one more graphics card first we need to get this server up and running before we can add a fourth one so let's switch the server on and see what happens Let's get back into SMS.
Seems like we needed to be a little patient. Um, as we can see, all three cards are showing up. Let's just get it hashing away before we change the overclocks and undervolts for these graphics cards. On the previous motherboard, we were getting just under 92 mega hash. Hopefully we can do the same with this motherboard. Let's give it one more restart in case it has frozen again. Let's give it a reboot. You usually don't get this much troubleshooting or issues with SMOS. Driver installations are pretty good, overclocks run pretty well, and SMOS runs really stable, never crashes like Windows does, or you never get any errors. So, using the previous flash drive might be an issue, but we are testing it and seeing if we can just get it up and running by plug and play.